Hi friends, Allie here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet these stocking and mitten appliques. These patterns are a part of a crochet advent calendar series I've been working on. If you're not familiar with the series, then check out my advent calendar playlist here on my YouTube channel or head over to my website, theturtletrunk.com, where it has all the info and all the free crochet patterns to make this advent calendar. But even if you're not making the advent calendar, you can still make these appliques and use them for whatever you'd like. You can sew them onto projects or add a hanging loop and use them as decorations. Now, if you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and let's get making. For these patterns, you'll need medium four weight yarn. You'll need about 12 yards of red and four yards of white yarn. Feel free to use any colors you'd like though. You'll also need a 3.75 millimeter or F crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. We're gonna make our stocking first and starting with our red yarn. We're gonna start with a slip knot on our hook and chain 10. Now working back into our foundation chain, we're gonna single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet in each of the next four chains. Then in the next chain, we're gonna work three single crochets and that's gonna be the heel of our stocking. And then we're gonna single crochet in each of the next two chains. You should have one chain left and in that last chain, we are gonna work four single crochets and this is gonna be the toe of our stocking. So now we're gonna be working on the opposite side of our foundation chain. So we are going to single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. And when you reach the end, we're gonna chain one and turn. You can kind of see the stocking shape start to form. We're gonna chain one and turn and now we're on to row two. For row two, we are going to single crochet in the next five stitches. Then we're going to single crochet two together. So insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Then insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Then work one single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're gonna work two single crochets in each of the next four stitches. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then two single crochets in each of the next two stitches. Then we're gonna work one single crochet into each of the last six stitches. When you reach the end, your stitch count should now be at 27. We're gonna chain one and turn. 
Now we're on to row three. For row three, we are going to single crochet into each of the first seven stitches. Then we're gonna work two single crochets into the next stitch, then single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Then we're gonna work two single crochets into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochets into the next stitch, and one single crochet into the next stitch. Work one single crochet into the next stitch, and then we're going to single crochet two together, and then single crochet two together once again. You should have three stitches left, so we're gonna work one single crochet in the last three stitches, and on that last stitch, we're gonna change colors. So start your single crochet as normal, insert your hook and pull up a loop. But before doing that final pull through, we're gonna drop our red yarn and pick up our white yarn and do that final pull through with our white yarn. So you should have a total of 28 stitches now. And now we're gonna be working across the top of our stocking to put on the cuff. So I'm gonna work six single crochets across the top of the stocking, working in the edge of each row across and working six single crochets across. Then we're gonna chain one and turn, and then we're gonna work one single crochet into each stitch across. So when you reach the end, you can tie off your yarn, both your white and your red, and we will weave in the ends on the back of our stocking. And that's it, there is our stocking applique. Now we're on to the mitten and we're gonna use our red yarn again. We're gonna start with a slip knot on our hook and chain six. And starting in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna single crochet in the next four chains. Then we're gonna work four single crochets all into the next chain. Now we're gonna be working on the opposite side of the foundation chain, and we're going to single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Once you reach the end of row one, our stitch count is now at 12. And we're gonna chain one and turn. Now onto row two. For row two, we're gonna work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. And then we're going to start the thumb of our mitten. So we're gonna chain three then single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Single crochet into the next chain. And then working back down in our stitches on the main part of the mitten, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. 
and then single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work two single crochets into each of the next four stitches. Then we're going to work one single crochet into each of the last four stitches. When we get to the end, our stitch count is now 17. We're going to chain one and turn. Now onto row three. We are going to single crochet in each of the first four stitches. Then we're gonna work two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat those last two stitches for a total of four times. So over the next eight stitches. So we just worked over two stitches. So we're gonna repeat three more times, two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. And you should have one stitch left before the thumb. So in that last stitch, we're going to work one more single crochet. And now we're going to be working around the thumb. So in that first chain of the thumb, we're going to work one single crochet. And then in the next chain, we're going to work two single crochets. And that's going to help us round out the thumb. So in the next chain, working around, we're going to work another two single crochets. Then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And that brings us back to the main part of the mitten and we'll have two stitches left. So we're going to work one single crochet in those last two stitches. On that last single crochet, we're going to change to our white yarn. So insert your hook as normal and pull up a loop. And then we're going to do our final pull through with our white yarn. And now we're going to be working across the bottom of the mitten to make the cuff. So we're going to work six single crochets across the bottom, starting into the same stitch um, as our last single crochet. And we're going to work a total of six single crochets across the bottom, working in the edges of those stitches across. When you reach the end, we're going to chain one and turn. And then for row four, we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. Then when you reach the end, we can cut off our yarn, both our white and our red. And you can weave in all of the ends on the back side and add a hanging loop if you'd like. And there we have our little mitten applique. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy these tutorials. Be sure to check out my website or the playlist here on my YouTube channel for the rest of the advent calendar tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.